Hi everyone, so final video review for this week is for my paperback read which was Instigations by Kiki Archer. Uh, for any of you that didn't see the introduction video last week, this is just a quick look at what the book looks like. You can still catch that um, introduction video on my blog or on YouTube so please go and check that out. Um, if you want to read my review, I have just posted that so if you're on YouTube there's a link in the description below and if you're on Facebook or on my blog then there's a link within the post. And this is the video review, so Instigations by Kiki Archer. Absolutely loved it knew I was going to. Um, so this is uh, the follow-on to But She Is My Student, which I read probably a couple of years ago now, but I love it. It's so controversial. Um, so uh, Instigations follows Kat and Freya, who are the main characters. Uh, they're now at a different stage in their life and careers, and Freya's at university making new friends, and her whole life's changing. Uh, whilst that sort of change is making Kat's insecurity start to surface um, and when Freya's new friendships kind of start to get in the way with all that's going on in both their lives, uh, their relationship and, um, and and everything like that, um, Kat can't help but wonder if this sort of happiness she's found with Freya um, is kind of going to be short lived. So um, that's how that is going. Um, so. Instigations, like I say, it follows on from the events that happened and took place in But She Is My Student, which is the first book in the series. So I definitely recommend reading that first because um, it will give you that idea of who they are and what's going on and who everyone is. However, it does work really well as a standalone story as well. You don't have to know their background. You will understand when you read this. It's, it's explained enough. So um, I adored being back in the world of Freya and Kat. Um, experiencing all their new challenges, life was kind of throwing a lot at them and time had sort of moved on. Um, not too far in the future but a little bit further ahead than where we left them. So um, Kiki's books, uh, like I say, I absolutely love them because they're always a lot of fun to read and even with these more controversial subjects, and this one would appear very controversial, um, but um, I love the humour and the fun that she injects into them. They're, they're just a fun loving way of a story playing out they're really quite sweet in the, in that respect and this instalment in Kat and Freya's life um, is packed with everything from fun to sexy moments to tense and more dramatic moments uh, to full on emotional moments you've got some angst in there you know the full on drama and everything so it literally has got an element of everything and um, the fact that these stories again it's the same with but she is not my student uh, but she is my student even um, they're not just focused on um, Kat and Freya. They've got a cast of characters that surround them as well who also get their moments. So there's friends and family and other people who, who you get a little bit of their point of view. Um, so I love the fact it doesn't only cover Freya and Kat's relationship but those of close friends and those that they, they um, sort of work with and live with and all that. And it gives a nice well-rounded story. It makes you feel really involved and though you're part of their group. Um, but again, as I say, instigations, um, it does centre on the theme of student teacher. And I know how that can be very controversial for some people, but uh, Freya is no longer Kat's student directly in this one. And I think it was very brave of Kiki to continue to explore this subject and keep the theme conscious in mind um, of the reader throughout the story that Kat, Kat was Freya's teacher at one point. And it's all done very tastefully. And I really enjoy the story because as controversial as it may seem, it's not. Um, Kiki brings a lot of sensitivity to this subject. She brings a new perspective. You have to, when you get these things where it's student teacher, you have to be aware that sometimes it's not as controversial as it seems because it's the student leading things. And the teacher's decisions are very important. And if you've read But She Is My Student, you will understand Kat's perspective a lot more than you will if you haven't read it before you read Instigations. But once you get to this stage with Instigations and Freya is therefore no longer her student, to just be conscious of that in the back of your mind and for Kat to always be conscious. She's always conscious of the fact that she did teach Freya and um, we're not talking about a little kid here. We're talking about a, a grown-up. We're talking about an 18-year-old. Um, it's not she's an adult, Freya's an adult and um, now she's going to university so she's 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 grown up even more you know and, and it is controversial but not, I do understand it and actually it's, it's, it's a genre that I like to read, I do like it um, 
so I'm really glad that Kiki wrote these books I like the subject so um but as I say it is, it is kind of controversial if it isn't your thing I do understand but if you are quite open-minded to exploring and understanding perspectives and characters motives and points of view and how persuasive someone younger can be to somebody older then I think you would you would really enjoy these um, and I would love it if you would just give them a chance um, but I thoroughly enjoyed catching up with Cat and Freya as I say um, I love their relationship I love the premise of it and the whole point of it um, and Cat's attitude towards it as well I love that she's realistic about it she's down to earth about it and she never forgets what other people are perhaps perceiving of them um, so I know if there were to be more in the series I would absolutely love them because I love these two characters, I love the idea of them and everything, and I want to see them all throughout the future and everything, um, but I know Kiki's not writing um, anymore, so hopefully one day she might consider it. It would be really nice if she did. That's me begging, basically. <laughs> um, so I really enjoyed Instigations by Kiki Archer. Um, I hope you will too. If you've... Um, what I'll do is I'll pop a link in the description actually, that's what I usually do first. I'll pop a link in the description so you can go and grab a copy um, of Instigations by Kiki Archer, which I really hope you will. If you've read Instigations, I would love to hear your thoughts on it, so please comment below, please let me know what you thought. If you haven't read it yet, but it's on you to be read list, you're planning to read it, or you're now really intrigued and thinking, I need to read that and the first book, uh, then please let me know because it's always great to hear what you're reading. Um, and if you do read it, I really, really, really hope you enjoy it. Bye!